Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an editing tutorial. I've seen velocity edits being a lot of trends involved with TikTok, so I thought that I should do a tutorial for people who simply want to edit just to do velocities for a trend or people who are looking into editing just because of these trends. So yeah, I'm going to play an example of the TikTok trend I'm kind of talking about. <laughs> Anything on the lines of that, I've seen a lot of um, TikTok trends involving velocity edits lately or just velocity edits on my For You page in general, which is super cool because velocity edits are so fun to make. And I'm also going to show this doubles as like a hex blur tutorial since they've added that recently on Video Star. And I'm going to be honest, it was like tricky to figure out for me. And I haven't seen that many tutorials on YouTube, so hopefully this will help with that as well. So here's an example of what I'm going to be showing you. Right, bad, big, bitch, bu bu right. And then here's the clip we're going to be working with. So first, you want to go to Velocity. Now, keep in mind, if you're new to editing or you're just doing editing just for this trend, you do not necessarily need Video Star Pro to do so. You can always just buy the Power Pack separately. Now, you want to play a little bit of the video. Right. And press the plus sign. And then down is slow. And then up is fast. So... I'm gonna bring it to about here. And then you wanna just play a little video and go up and down and kinda adjust it to however you want. So once you've got your velocity how you like it, sorry I had to kind of do mine off camera because I am so used to editing vertical and not horizontal, but I needed this video to be horizontal, if that makes sense. But you want to make sure you have it on Better Mixer and then you want to press Create. And then it should turn something out like this. Right, that, deep, bitch. And then if you're happy with it, you want to move on to re-effect and you want to click glow and then you'll just kind of move it up and down um, with the beat if you want it to have like little flashes. And it should look something like this. Right, that, deep, beat, and you can do this as many times um, until you're happy with it. So once you're happy with that, um, you want to head over to transform and you want to press hex blur. So you want to make sure it's on transition and then you want to press fast start and then you're going to want to you want to you're going to want to go to blur one and you want to adjust it to how blurry you want it and then go to time two and adjust that to how you want it because that will be where the transition this is where the transition ends this is where the transition begins. And then you want to press create. And this should be your final product. So I hope this was able to help you. And if you guys would like a complete tutorial on Hexblur, because this is only part of it, I just realized, let me know. I can do a more detailed one. But I will try to find one on YouTube and link it below if you need some help with that specifically. That wasn't really the focus of this video. But yeah, I hope this was helpful in some way. And I will see you guys in my very next video.